Hello everyone, Alangrown11 here, back with another video today. If you like what you see, make sure to leave a like and let me know what you thought about the video down below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay up to date with all the videos. Mahalo. Hello everybody, Alangrown11 here, back with another video. I didn't think I was going to be doing this, but uh, the HOH was just released today. And as you can see, it is the four-star Light Chakram Dancer as the Hall of Heroes. And I think a lot of you guys are wondering, you know, a lot of you are, people are asking to make this video and uh, was wondering, you know, is this a good unit? How is this HOH? It was kind of a trip up, right? Because Chakrams are a little bit newer of a unit compared to some of the other light units that haven't been released yet. So it's interesting to see Comptuous give this unit out. So we're going to go right ahead and dive into it and take a look. I do have an account here, uh, Boo Car Key, aka Weak Dog from the Twitch, uh, from the Twitch channel. Uh, definitely let me use his account to test it out. He has a Deva here. Unfortunately, it's not skilled up, but he does have a Deva here, and uh, he allowed me to rune it up and whatnot. So I went ahead and runed it up. As you can see, these are some of the stats. It's got some HP. It's got some attack in there. Good speed, crit rate, crit damage. Now let's go ahead and take a look into these skills here. These are the this is an important part about this unit here. Skill one, Crescent Moon Slash. Same as all the different uh, Chakrams out there. Skill two. Chakram Crush, which is very similar to Shayna. It's exactly the same, actually. It goes up with in harmful effects with skill ups here, up to 40% chance to stun uh, with each hit, two hits. This is the passive that makes her different right here. Golden Opportunity. This is the one that I kind of started to read a little bit about. And I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. Inflicts damage that ignores the enemy's target, enemy target's defense with a 25% chance when attacking the enemy under inability effects. So this pertains to like freezes, stuns, yeah? Boomerang attacks will also grant the same effect with, when they attack together, okay. So this means that all the skills of Deva has a chance to ignore defense, 25% chance. Now she does have multi-hits, so that kind of helps out with the potential chance to ignore defense, but it also means with multi-hits, um, you have lower, usually lower skill uh, damage multipliers for multi-hit skills. So. I runed it up here. It's currently on Rage Well, right? Uh, this was some solid runes that I saw lying around, so we could do a cool, a cool damage test. Yes, yeah, so that's one, three, five. It's on speed, crit damage, attack. If you wanted to make it a full damage healer, you can also go attack or damage attack. But just to throw a couple runes together and just get some stats on her, so we can test out and gauge, you know, how good she is. So these are her stats. I do like this transmog a lot, though. I don't know how many of you guys actually have this transmog, but apparently these transmogs have been increasing people's uh, dungeon times by quite a lot. And uh, it actually looks really nice. All right, we're going to go ahead and take it into a situation here. Uh, I decided just maybe like TOA, yeah, maybe get a stage where the units are kind of tanky so we can kind of see the damage. As you can see, I have the setup here. The inability will be from Varad. Varad will do the freeze, which is an inability effect. And then from there, we're going to potentially be able to ignore the defense and do some damage Yeah, with uh, Deva. And of course, we have Galen to put the defense break and uh, give us attack buff. Let's go ahead and uh, dive right into it and see how much damage we can do. Okay. Let's go ahead and absolute zero here. Okay, maybe... Okay, this is fine. So only the three targets that are under inability effects uh, will be able to um, have a chance of ignoring defense and doing damage to them. But that's totally fine. All right, let's see how much damage we can do or if we will even be able to ignore defense because remember, it's a 25% chance with each hit. So I see 7,000. Okay, I see it ignore defense on the right side here. Let's see how much damage it does. 15,000. So 15,000 ignore defense. Yeah. Not that crazy. Considering the stats that you just saw in the, uh, the Deva here, I keep saying Diva, Diva, Deva. I gotta remember to say Deva. Uh, as you can see, some of the stats that we had there, and only being able to do 25%, I mean, uh, have a 25% chance to ignore defense. And then on top of that, with only the skill multiplier being able to hit for 15k, with attack buff, by the way, I don't know. That seems a little bit lackluster, in my opinion. I wonder how much skill one will hit for. See if we can reduce the attack bar here. All right, let's see how much skill one will hit for. Oh. Okay, so the first hit, as you can see, ignores defense for 20k. And the second hit for uh, did 11,000, didn't ignore defense. So, skill one actually has a, a higher multiplier than skill two. But I guess it's because skill two also has CC, right? It has a chance to stun. Hmm. I, I don't know how I feel about that. 
Yeah, it seems like this unit, the first, first thing that comes to mind, 25% chance is such a low probability of ignoring the defense, right? I think we got a little bit lucky there. Out of, out of those hits, we hit the target four times and we ignored defense two of the time. So that's actually considered pretty good luck there. Let's try to replicate it one more time. Let me see if I can choose a different stage that potentially doesn't have those uh, win units so we can freeze more of them on uh, from with Varad here. But skill one does do a decent amount of damage. So let's see if we can do this. Get the freeze going. Looks like we got three of them again, unfortunately. And let's check out the damage from the uh, the skill two. And one more time here. Oh, this time I didn't even ignore defense. Yeah, the three targets on the right, that's six hits total. No ignore defense at all. Yeah, I don't know. We could try it once more here with, um, <clears throat> with the skill one. See if we can get lucky here. No ignore defense. Hmm. Yeah, man, I don't know how I feel about this, to be honest. Yeah, I really don't know how I feel about this. It's It feels like the setup that it takes in order to have Deva even have a chance of proccing her passive, uh, of ignoring defense, is too low. 25% chance is too low. I do know that we do multi-hits, so there's a higher chance to ignore defense. But the probability of 25% chance is so low with that crazy setup because you have to you have to remember things have to be under inability effects. Yeah, not just like harmful effects like defense break or uh, dots or anything like that. It's got to be under inability effects. So I feel it's a little bit too much setup for a too low of a chance as well as too low of a multiplier in damage. I mean, let's be real. Lucians are also four stars, but it's not even an LD and they can ignore defense. Like, I know people who do anywhere from 8 to 16k cards per hit, and it's 3 hits, and it's guaranteed. Yeah, there's no setup. All you need is attack buff. There's no uh, inability setup or anything like that, and it's guaranteed damage. So I'm not sure how much I like the Deva here. I know there are some differences, right? Deva, you know, pairs up with other twins, right? As well as uh, Deva does have an AoE stun, just like Shayna. But I'm not sure how much I like it, right? Other options that might be viable is maybe if you bring it in with other twins like Maruna, right? That could be interesting. And maybe you can com combine with Maruna. That kind of help helps the setup a little bit because Maruna, the fire boomerang, actually is able to stun with a high success rate on two different skills. Yeah, skill three right here. Attacks all enemies and stuns them for one turn. Whichever one you target with the chakram will guarantee a stun as well as uh, skill two having a chance to stun as well. I can see the synergy that Comptu has tried to set up here with the boomerangs and the chakrams, setting up for the stun and then doing additional damage potentially with Deva. But I think it's just too much setup for not enough damage. Now, other areas in the game that I think this could be viable, or I mean, that people might think it be, could be viable is maybe different dungeon runs, but I don't think it'll be that good of a chakram in dungeon runs. I still think Shayna is still the strongest, being able to reduce the attack bar and do defense break. Deva will pretty much do nothing in your dungeon runs. If you bring her into DB10, unless you have something to stun, like you have a Maruna or something in there to stun or put some kind of inability, you're not going to be able to utilize this passive at all. This passive literally basically does nothing. So all in all, I mean, I guess she also has an attack arena skill, so you can set her up to cleave an arena, but then again, Lucian's I think are still better. All in all, I really feel that she's a little bit lackluster, but... It's nice to see Comptu is giving new units out as an HOH, just for the fact that a lot of players out there who are, you know, a little bit more free to play and don't summon as much, or even players who summon a decent amount, let's be real. We, we have not summoned that many Chakrams, so it's nice to be able to get this one, keep it in storage, and use the rest as skill-ups for either Shayna, Talia, or whatever other Chakrams that we're currently trying to build. So nonetheless, I think this is a great unit, but just for skill-ups. And like any other LD unit out there, whether it's a 3-star or 4-star, make sure you keep one in storage. Yeah, don't just feed it and get rid of it. Keep one, just in case you don't come to us, ever decides to do a balance patch and change some of the skills. Uh, I would really like to see this passive just just be removed. I, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, this is, this is really hard. Yeah, at the very least, I feel like there should be an increase in chance of ignoring defense or guaranteed chance. Right? There should be a guaranteed chance of ignoring defense. The damage that the Chakram does is not that insane, as well as you have to set up for it. So I think you should get rewarded for setting up with a guaranteed chance to ignore defense uh, every hit. Mm, would that be too broken? Hmm. I feel like Lucian still do more damage though. Yeah. 50%, maybe 100%, I'm not sure. 
yeah, maybe you guys can uh, leave a comment below on what you think uh, would be better uh, for Deva in certain in terms of a change. I would like to see her more viable though, especially because they give out units to us, it, a lot of different HOHs and units to us in the past to clear various areas of the game. I would like to see some kind of change here where since every player had the opportunity to obtain it, they'll be able to use it somewhere in their gameplay, whether it's, you know, arena or even any PVE content in the game. So as you can see, that was kind of lackluster damage considering the stats that I have on Deva here. But yeah, I guess that's it. Quite lackluster. Yeah, I mean, I think I watch, I'd much rather see some of the other units given out. I mean, other ones that we were expecting to potentially be given out would be Pang. Pang's always interesting, right? Extend uh, inability effects, like you can Varad and make a unit three or four turn freeze, right? I thought that'd be kind of cool to uh, give out, as well as Pang can be great Rakshasa skill ups, as well as people were really speculating this one, this uh, Iliana unit here. Yeah, the Light Neil Stone Agent. She's not the craziest unit. She's definitely not the most powerful, but I think people wanted Neil Stone Agent skill ups as well. All in all, it's an interesting, interesting HOH, yeah. I would have rather them save the Chakram for a different element to get released, like a Shayna in the future or a Talia for people, but yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for today, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to make this and uh, put it live for you guys to watch instantly since comp has just released the HOH. Make sure you guys leave a comment below and hit that like, yeah. Comment below maybe your personal thoughts on it. Yeah, let's let's get some uh, good input because I'm sure maybe uh, Contua sometimes watches these videos and reads the comments. So leave some uh, solid comments below and maybe we can uh, suggest things to Contua and maybe see it in the upcoming balance patch. Apparently, there's supposed to be one soon. Yeah, people are. S I'm speculating. Hopefully by the end of the year. I, I hope so. But yeah, I guess that's it. So as always, have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening wherever you are. Keep the positive vibes flowing. I'll see you guys in the next live video or stream. Hello, everybody. <laughs>